In this video, I will show you how to create crazy transition shots like Thinkit that too in CapCut. This was one of the most requested videos on the channel. So we'll go step by step. So make sure to practice alongside me. For starters, I have imported all the images that we are going to require to create this clip. I'll be also showing you how to create all these images later on. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Let's start the video by placing the sky to the timeline. Let's expand it, then go to speed and let's just make it double. If I play this now, this is looking nice. We'll keep it somewhere around 2.5 seconds. Yeah, this much looks cool. Now let's add the first building. I'll drag and drop it over here. Let's keep it like this. Perfect. Now let's go to animations and let's give it a slide up. Perfect. But even after it comes in, we want it to keep on expanding. So we'll do one thing. At this point, it will come in, right? Go back to video. Let's add a keyframe over here. Go till the end and let's expand this like this. Click on the keyframe and keep it till the end. This way, if you play now, you can see this keeps on increasing. That is what we want in these videos. There should be constant movement. Now let's add a text. Drag the default text to a timeline. Let's decrease this and fit it exactly above this. We are going to write the word giant. Let's make this uppercase by clicking on this button. Let's select the font as the bold font. Increase the size. Let's scroll down. Over here, we are going to use a yellow color. Click over here. Go to yellow. Go to the right. Yeah, this looks nice. Now scroll below. We want to add a glow to it. So again, click on glow. This is a pro feature. So let's use the free one. Scroll down. We can increase the range a bit. Perfect. This is looking nice. Now go to animation. Over here, we get a lot of options. The one that we are going to use is called as set to the right. Let's click on this. Perfect. The duration is also fine. But right now, what we need to do is put it behind this. As you can see over here, if we go back to text, if we scroll down, we don't have option of taking this behind the other layer. In order to do that, right click over here and create it into a compound clip. You can also use the shortcut which is Alt and G. Let's use the shortcut for now. Click on this and press Alt and G. Okay. Now go to video, scroll down and put it on layer 1. As you can see, it has gone behind. Perfect. Let's increase the size and let's put it something like this. Okay. Maybe it can start somewhere over here. Let's decrease it from the right. Let's see this. Perfect. First, let's add all the clips to a timeline and later on, we'll add the transitions in the end. Let's add the next one now. Drag and drop it to a timeline. This one will be pretty short. It will last only till 4 seconds. So let's drag it over here and let's keep it at 4 seconds. Perfect. Again, we need a background to it, but I don't want to add the same background. So we'll do one thing. Press on Alt and drag it on the right. Now let's trim it from the right and keep it exactly below this clip. Now all we need to do is just flip it. In order to flip it, let's click on this button, which is called as mirror. Perfect. Over here on the top as well, we need to add a text. If we click on text, again we add it, we'll waste a lot of time. So in order to save time, we can just click on this clip, press Alt and drag it over here. Let's trim it from the right. Over here we want to add the word city. So all you need to do is just click over here and write city. Perfect. As you can see, the word city has come over here. How awesome is this? Now click on video, scroll down. And as we did it to the first one, let's click on one. This way the word will go behind. Perfect. Again. We don't want it to be constant, as you already know. We want this to expand. So take the player over here, click on keyframes, go to the end, and let's expand this. Perfect. Let's do the same for a text. Okay. So over here, go to video, add a keyframe and transform, go to the end, and expand. Okay. Just make sure that it always remains somewhere on the line. Perfect. Now let's give little motion to a text. In order to do that, let's click on effect. In favorites, I have added few of my favorites. We are going to use play pendulum. Just drag and drop it over here. Decrease everything. Something like this. Perfect. Let's do the same for this. Drag and drop it over here. Decrease this. Decrease the twist. Perfect. Now let's add the car. Again, go back to media. Let's add the car to a timeline. Let's drag it down. We need to flip the car so that it looks as if it comes from this point, goes over here and again, it goes into the next scene. Let's do it one by one. Firstly, let's flip it by clicking again on the mirror option. Awesome. We already have the road over here. The car will start from over here. So let's take it back at the start. Add a keyframe. Coming over here, let's split it. Okay. Now come over here. At this point, take the car all the way over here. Like this. Let me play this. I feel this is happening too slow. So we'll do one thing. Let's keep it over here. And let's keep it this way. This looks much better, right? Now again, we want the car. On this scene, it should look as if when it goes out from here, it should enter the next scene. So again, we'll do one thing. At this point, let's keep the car over here. 
add a keyframe, go to the end over here at this point, add another keyframe and drag the car all the way to the right. Perfect. Let's see this. It goes from here. Awesome. Now the only thing pending is the transition. Let's click on transition, click on camera. We have many good free options. We have pull in, we have right, left. I feel the first one that we can use is the left. Let's just drag and drop it over here. Let's see this. Perfect. If you want, you can also add the transition on the car. Perfect. Now let's add the next image. Go back to media. Let's drag this image and drop it to a timeline. Let's go to transition. And this time we are going to add a pull in. Perfect. This is going to last around six seconds. So let's cut it over here and then delete the rest. Take this guy, pressing Alt, drag and drop it over here. Okay. Now go to animations. We have to give it a slide down. Scroll down. Yes, this is over here. Click on slide down. Perfect. I have added one more image of the shop. Okay, this is the one. Let's drag and drop it over here. We don't need the remaining part. So let's delete the rest. For this, again go to animation and let's give it a slide up. So it will look something like this. We can in fact keep it over here so that we want constant movement. Always remember this. There should not be a single second where there is something still. Even we are going to add an animation over here so that this image looks as if it is increasing in size. Perfect. So now let's click on this image. Click over here. Go to the start. Go back to video. And let's add keyframes. Firstly, let's add a keyframe in transform. Go over here. Let's zoom out and expand it like this. So if I play this again. Perfect. Now let's add the next image. For next image, as we are talking about Asian paints, we are going to add this image where we have a lot of paint bottles on a cart inside a shopping mall. Let's again click on transition. This effect is going to last till 8 seconds. So let's trim it on the right. The transition that we'll be using this time is pull out. Let's drop it over here. Let's see this. Perfect. But we forgot to do one thing. Over here, we did not increase or decrease the size of this. So quickly do it. Click over here. Add a keyframe. Go to the end. Zoom out a bit. And increase the size. Perfect. For the eye, let's give it a Kanban's effect. Click on this. Click on transform. Keep it at the start. Let's zoom in. Zoom in like this. Okay. Then add another keyframe and transform. Decrease the size and take it up. So it will give you effect like this. Perfect. So in order to give it a little motion, again let's go back to effects. And we are going to add a rebound string on top of it. Decrease the speed and decrease the size. Perfect. So in order to give it a little grainy look, I'm also going to add the grain effect. In CapCut, we have this option of adding multiple effects to a single clip. Perfect. Let's click over here. Let's click on green and let's reduce it and keep it around 40. Now let's add the final building. Drag and drop it to a timeline. Let's go to the side. This is going to come till 11 seconds. Perfect. Go to transitions. Click on camera and drag and drop the up transition between the clips. Let's expand this. Click on transform. Go ahead and maybe zoom it like this on the name. Again, go ahead. At that time, Let's scale it down over here. Go a little ahead. Scale it back in. Again going ahead. Let's increase it. Let's see this. It will look something like this. Perfect. Even after this point, we can do one thing. Once we are here, going till the end, we can slightly make this bigger. Perfect. Now again go back to media. We have to add this code on top of this. Expand this. As you can see right now, we cannot see the building at all. So click on blend. Click on the mode. And let's make this overlay. Decrease the opacity. You can keep it around 40 to 50. Perfect. Now let's also add the word technology over here. You can use the same text which we had created earlier. This is the one. Copy this. Come over here. Maybe somewhere over here. Let's paste it. Control C and Control V. We don't need this for the moment. Let's delete this and keep it till the end. Go to video. Scroll down. And this should be the top layer. Okay. Let's keep it in the middle. Go to the text and let's add the text technology. Let's decrease the size. Double click on this. And we can decrease this such so that it fits properly over here. Let's go back. I feel it is not properly visible. So we'll do one thing. Go back to the video. Double click over here. Again click on the text layer. Let's make this white. Scroll down. See on over here. Let's make this completely white. Let's go back. I feel if we remove the glow, it would be much better. Again click over here. Scroll down. Let's not keep any glow. Perfect. Right now, I'm tired of this animation. I want to change it. So just double click on this. Click over here. 
go to animation, scroll up and let's give it a typewriter. Let's go back. Perfect. Now let's add the final clip. Again, I need the sky for that. I'm going to drag and drop it over here. Go to transitions. And for the final one, I'm going to use fold over. Let's drag and drop it over here like this. Expand it so that it fills the complete canvas. See this? Perfect. Over here, we need to add the text 30 years ago. That's it. This is where we end the clip. Let's trim the rest. Let's go back. Take the same text. Drag and drop it over here. 30 years ago. Double click on this. Click over here and decrease the size. Go back. We don't need any keyframes. So I'm just going to delete them. Let's see this. Again, I don't need any glow. So I'm going to remove the glow. Scroll up. And instead of that, I'm just going to add a shadow. Let's go back. Perfect. Now you would be wondering till now, from where do we get all these images? So there are two ways, the free way and the paid way. Let me show you the free way first. You can go to Ideogram. It's a free website. They give 10 free credits, which you can use to create 40 images, which are more than enough in most of the cases. Let's go to my creations. Let me show you the recent one. So this is what I created for Asian paints. This building, even this building, you can easily use this building and just remove the background and use it in your own videos. Let me just show you. See, I had just put a simple prompt, like a building with the word Asian paints written on it. This is what it does. It creates that prompt into a magic prompt, where a striking photo of a building with the words Asian prints prominently displayed on its facade. Anyway, you get the gist. But I will tell you how I created all the images which you have actually used in the video. Let's head to ChatGPT. See, all I needed to put over here was a shop which has Asian prints board on top in the ratio which is 9 to 16. I got this image. Next, I said a bigger shop facing forward. I got the image which we actually used in our video. Now a shop with a roof which has Asian prints written on as a board. We got it. And this happens in split seconds. It's that quick. Now I said a aisle in a shopping mall which has aisles on either sides which has paint boxes in a shopping cart. This is not what I got. Then I said the shopping cart should have some paint buckets. This is the image which I received. And finally, a very big tower which has the word Asian prints written on top of it. And this is what I got. Perfect. How awesome is this? Now let's head back to CapCut and see our final result. Perfect. 